Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, on April 5th, Phyllis Harmon came into Riley's department store with her niece, Latrice Bailey, and four little children pushing a baby carriage. They were shopping for an Easter outfit for Miss Bailey's infant boy. They walked in, and within minutes, Officer Miller started following them. For over an hour, he watched their every move. At one point, Miss Bailey picked up her son along with his coat. Miller would focus in on that coat, assuming it was concealed merchandise. He said his name was Chris Miller. He said, I am with Riley Security. One of our associates said she saw you put something dark under your coat. He took the bag, dumped the contents out on the counter, and compared them to the receipt that was in the bag. And then he shoved everything back at me. And then I said, I don't appreciate being accused of shoplifting. And he said, I'm not accusing you of shoplifting. And I said, then what do you call it? And he said, I will call the Parkville Police Department and have you physically removed from the store. Why do you think that you were stopped by Riley's on April 5th? I think he stopped us because we are black. When I began to question him, his whole attitude was, how dare you question me this way? He turned red, and he was mad that I had the nerve to question him after he accused me of stealing, and I hadn't done anything. Is there anything else about the interaction with the security officer that made you think that he stopped you because you were black? When he threatened to remove me from the store, he saw that I was upset. My children were upset. He did not apologize. He did nothing to try to make the situation any better. He continued to threaten us the entire time. His attitude was, you need to leave this store and be glad that I'm letting you go. Uh, when a black male or black female would enter the store, one of the security officers would get on the radio and say we have a couple of code 3s or code 4s coming in the south door. Are these codes that you heard often while you worked at Riley's? Yes. While you were working at Riley's, under what circumstances would you make a stop for a suspected shoplifter? Uh, only when I witnessed the actual stealing. I would only make a stop if I saw someone take something that belonged to Riley's and attempt to leave the store without paying for it. Have you ever been told to target African-American shoplifters? No. Do you target African-American shoplifters? No. I'd like to turn now to April 5th, the day of the incident in question here in court. Why did you first notice Ms. Harmon and Ms. Bailey? I noticed the baby stroller. And in my experience, people sometimes have attempted to remove merchandise from Riley's in a baby stroller. Did the mere fact that they had a baby stroller make you think either one of them was a shoplifter? No. What else did you observe? I noticed the young female would pick up an item, and instead of just looking at the item, she would look towards the ceilings, towards the walls. At one point, I noticed the young female had clothes in her right hand on the hangers, and something dark colored rolled up in her left hand. Could the dark rolled up item be what is marked as Exhibit 11, the baby's coat? No, I don't think so. So that behavior seems suspicious. Yes. Keep in mind, this whole time, he's suspicious of her because of her behavior, not because of the color of her skin. When the women and children headed for the dressing room, Officer Miller asked Miss Cummings to watch, and she said she was absolutely certain that she saw a rolled up item up under Miss Bailey's coat. So Officer Miller followed the ladies to the cosmetic counter, approached them and said, I have been told by a sales associate that the younger lady put something under her coat. Officer Miller asked to see the bag and the receipt and confirmed that everything in the bag had been purchased. He didn't do anything else. He didn't try to search the ladies. He did the least obtrusive means of investigating what he believed was a crime. He testified it lasted two or three minutes. This was an investigative stop based on reasonable suspicion that, Ms. that Officer Miller had that Miss Bailey was going to try to steal something from Riley's and that is his job.